see how it kind of tapers off towards the end? That's why it looks like there's like a dot in the middle because they all right guys, my daughter is a teenager and she was breaking out something fierce, all right? So we ordered a whole bunch of these so we could do some product tests. And she's used them for about a month, month and a half, so I have some notes from her. Ta -da. All right, so I'm gonna go over what she said about each of them and then tell you which one ultimately was her favorite. And no, this is not a sponsored post. This is sponsored by me as a mom trying to help my daughter get rid of her blemishes. Who should we start with? Uh, we'll start with you. Excuse me, sir. So this is the Rayel Miracle Patch. It's an invisible spot cover. It came with, we got the small bags. This was 24 patches. This one had two sizes, 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter. Looks like that, okay? So we'll leave this out here. It is marked as invisible. About Rayel, she said this one was very, very sticky, which she loved, and extremely clear. She loved that it was so affordable, and she said they were super comfortable to wear. But she really didn't have any cons about this one, and the note she said is, when I was breaking out, I wore these every single day without hesitation because they worked so well. It was important to her that she could wear these during the day over her skincare, so like serums and sunscreen or whatever, and it would still stay. And she would put makeup on over top of these, and you wouldn't be able to see it. It did not slip off when she was putting skincare under it, and that was really important to her. The only thing that she didn't really love about this was the packaging. She found it kind of difficult to slide it in and out, and I do kind of get that. Maybe they could have made that a little bit bigger. She said this was her favorite of all three. This was her favorite to wear during the day. So that's the rail patch. Now we move on to you, my friend. Zit Out Original. This one says for a surfaced pimple. Whereas this one says ideal for on the surface spots. There are 40 in this package, and they had three different sizes, which she loved that. 10, 12, and 14, but they're three different sizes. I thought that was kind of cool, because sometimes you have like, you know, a monster that's trying to take over your face, and sometimes he just brings his tiny little friends. So this is what these zit out patches look like, and I'm gonna put them next to these, which are gonna be so hard to see. I'm gonna put them on black velvet so we can actually see them. So this is the real. Rael, these are the zit out ones. You can see right off, these ones, you can see how it kind of tapers off towards the end. That's why it looks like there's like a dot in the middle because they taper off at the sides. So you can really not see them when they're on. These ones are, they appear to be uniform all the way across. Like they don't taper down. To be fair, this doesn't say invisible. All right, and her notes about this one were, she said this worked the best out of any of them, hands down, as far as like drawing stuff out of her blemishes. This was her go-to guy. Very comfy. Even though it's not labeled as invisible, it is clearer than the Mighty Patch. That's what she said. She said, when I was breaking out, I put these on every night, worked so, so well. Two sews, okay. Um, can wear these over skincare and does not slip. So again, you could wear these during the day, but they're not as invisible. They're more clear than Mighty Patch, but they're not as invisible because they don't have those tapered ends. She also said, would reach for these anytime I'm breaking out because they work so well. She said, do they put crack in these? Okay, she really loves this one. She said the same thing about the packaging here. She didn't love the way this was packaged. And I'll show you against the Mighty Patch, how she preferred the packaging. She said this, this one, the zit out, just so y'all know, I'm not telling you lies. My favorite overall. She loved this one. If all things being equal, I asked her to stack rank them. This one was her favorite overall. This is the zit out. This one was her favorite for daytime. And this is the Rayal, the OG blemish patch, mini patch. Okay, and this says invisible and there are 39, 24 of 12 millimeter and 15 of 10 millimeter. I was like, I asked her to save me one and she did. Okay, so you can see with this one, it also has sort of those tapered off edges. So it looks, pretty much identical to this one. Not identical in the price point, for sure. She liked the package of this one the most because obviously, right, it's easy to get in and out of. So Rayal and Zit Out, if you're listening to this, do that. She said the pros for this one, they're sticky, they're invisible, and they do help pimples. The cons were that they don't work as well as either one of the other two that we looked at and that they're so expensive that she didn't want to reach for them. If your product works great, but it's loss prohibitive, then that's a problem. She said it's not as clear as the others. And that's true, I'm gonna hold it up here in a second. You can see that just looking at it. She said, when I was breaking out, I never reached for these um, as they are so expensive and they don't work as well. Cannot be used over skincare. She said, please mention that, that this slides right off. Like if you were doing your skincare and you attempted to wear this during the day, it's gonna slide. Or even at night, it's gonna slide. Like you could put it on bare skin, it'll stick. But if you're doing skincare under it, forget it. She said, I would reach for these if someone else was paying for them. Okay, preach. She said, this is my least favorite, still good product, but 
least favorite. Okay, so let me hold this up so you guys can see what she's talking about. I hope you can see that on camera. As far as clarity, for me, it's this one. So this is Mighty Patch, then Rayal, then the Zit Out one. She said, these were okay. She said, I'll never repurchase these, so you're out of here. So it comes down to these two. And the, the main distinction for her is she will wear this during the day and she will wear this at night. She loves them both. She, she didn't want to choose between one. She wants them both. So I hope that was helpful for you guys because I know there are like 5 billion of these products on the market and we were trying to figure out what was what. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that was helpful to you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.